Just in front of your face. Silat is the martial art of South Asia. Silat itself comes from the word kilat, which means lightning. Uh, it's a combat system uh, for self-defense. Silat originally came from the Malay people and, and covers areas of Indonesia, Malaysia and Southern Philippines. I think it's the people. I think everybody kind of has a good mix. You learn a lot, obviously, but you kind of it's like a second family, I think. What I like about Silat is that it's the place where I go when I need to unwind. There's nothing lacking in Silat. There's groundwork, there's hand-to-hand, -hand, there's weapons. There's nothing that you cannot learn from Silat. You can't defend yourself against everything in life. What struck me first about Silat was the very quick, simple little ways of defending yourself, like striking the throat, getting out the hand grabs. I love the training, I love the pad, I love the techniques. Always something new to learn. Um, what I like about Silla is the confidence it's given me. Not that I, would, I wouldn't be afraid if a situation arose that I needed it, but I'd be a little bit more confident now that I could handle myself or get me and my family out of the way, out of this situation. Why do we need self-defense? That's a good question. We are living in a much more violent times. Um, a lot of people don't realise that, but violence is everywhere, and so it's important to learn self-defense. I think the world's coming in a more dangerous place, like you can't really trust that you know someone's going to help you these days because there's so much violence goes on, you need to know how you're going to help yourself. We live in a world where there are people who are basically predators and they will take advantage of anyone they possibly can. And there are a lot of good people out there who don't know how to defend themselves. Like kids and teenagers need to get in self-defence more to protect themselves. The world is a lot more dangerous than it was before, so you really do need it. When you're out, like if you or your friend gets attacked or hurt or anything, it's good to have it there to help you and you're more likely to survive through it. I suppose people assume that nothing will happen to them. That society is good, people are good, nobody would actually do violence to them. Not many people know, but no one will come to protect you when you're fighting in the street or being attacked by somebody. We need self-defense because this world is becoming much more violent and you have to be able to defend yourself because sometimes other people won't be there to help you. Uh, so you can defend yourself against attackers on the street because it's sad but there will be a lot of people who try to hurt you and they don't have a reason for it, they just will. I definitely, I mean I've known him for now 13 years and I don't think I've ever seen someone who's so dedicated to helping out the students. Yeah, he's a great teacher. Yeah. Yes. I do think he's a great teacher. <laughs> I'm nine years now and you know, I've never left. <laughs> Fantastic teacher, always there when you need him for a bit of help, a bit of advice. He's an excellent teacher. He's very friendly, very approachable. He's really, really good when it comes to teaching all different types of people and all different types of levels of experience. He's not very strict. He welcomes people of all shapes, sizes. Yeah, I love teaching. Um, my whole duty is to try and spread the love of Silat to as many people as, as possible. Um, it's a beautiful art and has so many benefits to, to give people. Like I've had a couple of smaller incidents in life that I have had to use my skills and they have helped, like I'm still here today, so I'd like to say yes. I was in New York three years ago and I was standing outside a bar waiting to get in and a man randomly attacked me. Within three seconds of the fight, I uh, deflected his incoming attack and then I broke his nose. It never comes straight away, but if you're dedicated enough, you will always be able to defend yourself. I think people look at films and take self-defense to be wrong and assume it will be like a, a martial arts film and it'll all work out beautifully. I think in reality, no, it wouldn't. But I think all the training you do, you're training to move, you're training to keep your hands up, you're training to react to that. I can think about situations when they happen a lot quicker. I would have great confidence in my ability to defend myself. If someone was to attack me, I have many skills now built up over many years that I could use to defend myself. I recommend it as the only martial art worth learning. Interesting, it's something you need in life. It's something different and it's a good martial art. Not only because you get to learn to defend yourself, we also get to make friends, it's a great community and it's a lot of fun. It is an actual self-defense martial art, unlike a sport like some of the others. 
I think a lot of women are half afraid of a martial art because I think you feel they're going to be hurt. You learn things slowly, you get better, you learn to do takedowns, you learn, and you don't, you don't get hurt, let me tell you. It's not geared towards competition, it's not geared towards point fighting, it's more geared towards day-to-day -to -day situations and using anything to either defend yourself or to get out of a scenario. It's a fun way to learn how to defend yourself and also to build up fitness. He had an open day and I was introduced to him and from then it was just keep going even if it was pushed by my parents go for the first few years and then I really learned to enjoy it. Um, a leaflet in the door is what we got and at first I thought oh no wouldn't do that that looks sore. <laughs> I thought it'd be good for the kids but then as I rang and I was uh, finding out about it that he didn't need to have experience he didn't need to have done any other martial arts. did the first eight weeks and loved it so I'm doing it ever since. I asked him what he did, he showed me a quick technique and I signed up and I've been here 18 years later this December. It, it doesn't feel like a sport. Other martial arts get like caught up in winning and trophies and medals but that's not the way ours is. Ours is based on defending yourself and what to do. And we don't have competitions, we don't worry about point fighting and having to protect ourselves from just being hit in a particular area for a point. It's more a scenario if you come across a situation where it's one person attacking you or several people attacking you. You do street fights, like if somebody's gonna mug you, like different scenarios, if being kidnapped, but also you learn sword, knife, staff, a really, really broad range of weapons. From speaking to people who have done, people who have done martial arts and came out and said they didn't feel they could defend themselves against attacker, where it's a lot of all different levels. You can do very simple, basic stuff to get away. I think Salat is based more in what actually happens rather than what could happen. Salat's more defensive is if you get attacked, while well, a lot of other ones are you just attacking. It came before the MMA. It has striking and grappling, it has weapon training. We do knives, we do sticks, we fight on the ground. We've learned to fight against two against one. It covers every range, every possibility you can actually find yourself in.